when a person repeats the message of the scripture with realization of its content, even more transcendental potency is disseminated. The Srimad Bhagavatam was spoken by Shukadev Goswami. He heard the contents of Bhagavat from his father, Veda Vyas. But because of Sukadeva Goswami's transcendental realizations of pure unalloyed devotional service, even though he repeated the same message, it was even sweeter and more transcendentally blissful to the ears of those who hear it. Some people may question that the original text of Bhagavatam, the original Sanskrit of the great Acharyas who have made commentaries, it would be so wonderful if we had direct access to that, which means essentially being a very great scholar of the Sanskrit language. However, Srila Prabhupada has very carefully meditated upon, transcendentally digested within the very core of his soul, the text of the Bhagavatam, as well as all of the principal commentaries of the greatest commentators. And then he wrote his Bhaktivedanta purports. It is a transcendental sound vibration. And he put this in English language out of great, great compassion for all fallen souls. Because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's desire was that his message be delivered to every town and village throughout all of the planet. Lord Chaitanya's message is not simply for Bengal and Orissa. It is not simply for India. It is for all living beings, because we are all eternally servants of Krishna. We have all forgotten our service to the Lord, and his message is to bring us back to our constitutional nature of pure unalloyed love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. Srila Prabhupada was certainly a scholar of Sanskrit, also of Bengali. He also spoke, spoke most fluent Hindi. He could have written his commentaries in so many languages, but his Guru Maharaj especially instructed him preach in English language because that is the language that is most influential to all living beings throughout the entire world. Therefore, Śrīla Prabhupāda, with great, great effort, he translated each and every word of the Bhagavatam in his word-for-word uh, -word translations. Then he gave the translation and purport in such a way that this transcendental message of the Bhagavatam could be thoroughly understood by people all over the world. Now we know English is a Malecha and Yavana language. It is not considered a very advanced language at all. From every point of view, its grammar is totally crazy. It makes very little sense. Every rule that is within the English language, there are innumerable exceptions to the rule. Just the pronunciation of the English language makes very little sense. Just like the word pneumonia. It begins with a P. If you were to say to someone the pronunciation that's actually correct, they would think you're illiterate if you said p pneumonia. Actually, even some 
computer geniuses, they searched all over the world for the most perfect language that's phonetically absolutely correct. And they said the only language is Sanskrit. We have come to this, this conclusion. So English is a very, very primitive, molecular-like language. And the Srimad Bhagavatam is written in the highest, most pristine language of Sanskrit. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita was written, the very words, the very language that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally spoke, Bengali. And it's decorated with so many beautiful Sanskrit verses. So why Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati asked Srila Prabhupada to preach and translate, print and distribute books in English language? one of the lowest of all languages. It is a language which is spoken by people who have illicit sex, intoxication, gambling, and meat-eating. And its origin comes from Roman alphabet. And we all know the history of Rome. They were such cruel, barbaric people. The whole Roman Empire fell down because of homosexuality and because of so much degradation and overeating and over drinking liquors. Hare Krishna. And then there's the British. And the English language that is known throughout the world is not even proper British language. King's English. The people of England when they hear how the Americans talk, they call it Pigeon English. Yes, it sounds like pigeons making sounds the way they talk. So Srila Prabhupada wrote in this language under the order of his spiritual master because of his great compassion. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's desire is everyone hears about Krishna. Everyone chants his holy names. Everyone understands that we are the eternal servants of Krishna and devotional service is the ultimate perfection of life. Therefore, it was on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's order, coming through disciplic succession from his spiritual master, that Srila Prabhupada painstakingly did like this. And because it was done, under the authority of God with such immense love, devotion, and compassion to every spirit soul. Therefore, the transcendental power of Krishna manifested in these English words in his books like no other way. It is equal to or better than any other language because of the content of compassion. We certainly cannot say that Śrīla Prabhupāda's English commentaries are better than Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Jiva Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Śrīdhār Swami Sanskrit commentaries. But we can say that they are absolutely non-different. And all the potencies of all of these previous acharyas are coming through his translations, plus the very special element of his empowered position as the most compassionate Acharya to be the first person in history to bring this message to every continent of the planet Earth. People can easily not understand this. Oftentimes we meet people, sadhus, scholars, and they say if you want to actually be advanced in spiritual life, you must learn the Sanskrit language. You must. It is necessary, preliminary. No doubt it would be very valuable. However, they do not understand the nature of the Lord's transcendental potency through parampara. The full potency of all the Sanskrit texts of the Vedas, plus more, is manifesting to those who read Srila Prabhupada's Bhaktivedanta purports. Parampara is not based simply on grammar or language. 
It is ultimately based on devotion. And Srila Prabhupada's books have been translated into hundreds of languages. African languages like Swahili, German language, the French language, Italian language. So this, his books have been translated. And wherever they are being translated in a spirit of devotion to bring out his message, it has the same transcendental power of the Vedas through the grace of parampara or disciplic succession. And hearing this message is the ultimate perfection of life. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.